Worldwide, Dirty Water. I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm Cassie Arsenal. And I'm Pat Bonzani. Coming here from the Lobster Trap in Bourne, Massachusetts. Oh, uh, and what a wonderful night to be here. It is packed. Unbelievable, right? I love it. The drinks is good. The food smells delicious. Unbelievable. I know. So we are here yeah. because we are talking about a very exciting new project. It's an offshoot of Cape Vibes Podcast, and yeah. they are now partnering with Dirty Water. We are. Tell me a little bit about this insane matchup right so, now. So, Cassie... We've been doing some crazy things down here, right? <laughs> so, you know, the Cape isn't just the summer. It's year-round place. So, we'll Which people don't know. They don't know, and that's what we're here to tell them. Tell them. So we've got Dirty Water <laughs> Cape and Islands now. Uh, we're trying to spotlight all the bars and restaurants down here, basically doing what Dirty Water's been doing for the past 15 years in all of New England. Yeah. But the Cape is such a hot spot, especially with COVID going on. I feel like... People were leaving the city and coming to see us, so we have to give the people what they want. Yeah, and he knows because he grew up a summer kid for the Cape. Well, I, I was a summer kid. Don't want to let that out too much, but <laughs> I got the sand in my shoes, as they say, right, girl? Yeah. And here, and, yeah, and here yeah. I am 20 years later. I've been bartending <laughs> in these parts for 25 years. Beach House Pat. Pat Bunt's out of here, owner of the Beach House Restaurant North Bound with Cape Cod, and I love that Dirty Water TV. We had a great place called the Beach House for a number of years. We did tons of nightlife with Dirty Water. We, you know, Rooney. There's nothing better than a Beach House on the Cape. And Higgs. I'm sorry, where's <laughs> Fair weather, all the boys. We had so much fun over the years, right? Unfortunately, time ran out. We got rid of that place. Here I am. Thanks, guys. Thanks for being here. And then we had the Real Cape also, which was a blog we had. We had 300,000 unique visits a month to it. We did two music festivals out of it, unfortunately. My man Damien passed away a few years ago, but we had to put an end to that. But I'm back, baby. Yeah. So we've got Cape Vibes. Cape Vibes. Perfect segue. So before we roll a little bit of the yeah. Cape Vibes podcast, tell us what it's about. So the Cape Vibes uh, started as a little thing in my head. I was just kind of kicking it around. I showed it to a friend of mine, and, and he goes, listen, I want to pick this up. Let's do a podcast. All right, great. So I've been doing some podcasts, trying to spotlight all the positivity on Cape Cod. Uh, with, with the musicians and the artists and the business owners and just the people. There's so much cool going on here. The worst. So if you want to know what is cool, listen to Cape Vibes. That's We're going to roll a little piece of it right now All for right. you, so oh. take a listen. What do we got? We had the whalers down uh, I, Puffer Bellies, brother. It, yes, it's real because he took the time to write, like for some kid who he didn't hardly know from a hole in the wall, Blue took the standard. time to write down 20 songs or 20, uh, 20 albums. Yeah to help me like grow as a music lover. There's a whole lot going on on the Cape and we got a huge show for you tonight. Here's what's on tap. Our friends at Get Bent TV hit the high seas off Dennis for some saltwater fishing. And they'll show you how to prepare and cook their catch of the day. And I'll talk music, comedy, and movies with Kevin Chico and the Fama Driving. And we're going to have Crooked Coast here. They're going to talk about their new single and an upcoming show. But first, let's go inside the lobster trap. And that's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. <laughs> Lobster Trap was founded in 1969 as a neighborhood fish market on the Back River in Bourne. It's evolved to include a restaurant, catering, and a distribution company which services restaurants and markets worldwide. Their mission has remained the same, being committed to providing guests with the best possible, freshest prepared seafood served with pride. And now we get the pleasure of talking to Bill Henrique who is the sous chef here. So he knows all about food and drink, of what's going on. And so does Pat, actually. So you guys are going to kind of tag team this for me. So tell me the concept of Lobster Trap. And I must say, I've never been here in the fall, and I'm really loving it. Well, welcome. Thanks for coming down and making some time for us. The Lobster Trap is a staple on Cape Cod. It's a real Cape Cod experience. The minute you get over the bridge, we're two miles right over the bridge. 
and uh, we have everything you need to offer. We have the vibe, we have great food, great service, and uh, everyone here just has a great time. And I'm sure the one thing everyone is thinking about right now is what is the best thing they can order if they come down here? What's your favorite? What's featured? Well, right now, I mean, the menu just switched, so we have a lot of new stuff on the menu. You can get all your local favorites, Cape Cod staples, fried clams, fried uh, fish, fish and chips. But right now, what stands out is stuff that we do that's much different for the off season. Uh, we do a swordfish entree, it's paired with uh, sweet potato, pulled pork hash. We smoke the... Uh, the hash is unbelievable. Yeah. I'm hungry. Unbelievable. I mean, we smoke the uh, pork in-house. Uh, swordfish comes in fresh every single day. Um, probably the top selling dish around here is tuna pad thai. Without a Ooh. doubt. I mean, that's just something really unique to what we do here. Can't get that anywhere else. Exactly. Like Pat said, you can't get it anywhere. So, okay, Pat, then tell us what is like the best cocktail or beer or drink you can so, get. Listen, we just switched over the cocktail list uh, to some fall drinks. You know, you can always get the uh, Mayflower Crusher Claw here. But they make specifically for the lobster trap. It's an IPA. It's delicious. Smitty, our bar manager, has made some unbelievable drinks for this off season. We've got the passion fruit flip. We've got the spiced pear anejo. What has it been like during the pandemic to kind of deal with all? You guys are doing a great job, yeah. but what's it been like to make that transition? Bill, I mean, really, we haven't really skipped a beat. I mean, it's true. We're taking all the precautionaries that we need to to do our part to make sure everyone's within the guidance for the state and for their own safety. But I mean, but through the local support and everyone coming down to visit us through the summer, we haven't really skipped a beat. Like I said, we're just cranking right through. Here it is October tonight. We have a full house. Everyone's happy. And uh, we're just keeping smiles on people's faces. Tonight we're, we're, we're featuring McGansett oysters from our old friend, dirty water friend, Jay Miller, former Bruin. Owns a courtyard over in uh, Katomit. We like to promote his oysters because he's doing a great thing over in Baganzit, actually the village I grew up in. Oh, awesome. Well, Bill, thanks so much for sitting down with us and talking yeah, food and drink. And uh, Pat, thanks for all the lowdown on Hey, the... you know, I get the lowdown, girl. He's a host and he knows everything. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's tonight's Big Ticket, brought to you by Hicks Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. I'm Higgs, so call me, get tickets, and be part of the action. Up next, Kurt Coast in the house. We'll chat with this all-star band from Cape Cod. I threw the sink out the window. And later, Get Vent TV reels it in off the coast of Dennis. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Hi, I'm Cassie Arsenal. I'm here with Pat Bonzani, and we are at the Lobster Trap in Bourne, and we are so lucky to be talking to Crooked Coast tonight. I threw the sink out the window And put my beat it like a ringo I was gone without a trace, long gone, I'm a race Summer 2020 has been a little different for everybody around in the, in, in the whole world. You guys somehow have pulled off some amazing stunts and events. <laughs> Tell me a little about that, Luke. Um, so we figured when we came to this crossroads that everyone came to, um, we just knew we didn't want to stop. There was no right. question of whether we were going to take a break. We were like, we just need to figure out how we're going to navigate in this new world. So yeah. we did pop-up shows at three fans' houses on a flatbed trailer for the first one. We did a floating concert um, literally on a barge in the middle of a harbor. Put um, generators, a full sound system, full lights, went out there, performed. Just same thing, just a pop-up. And then we did a driving concert, did like our own little festival at a drive. Oh, it, not your own little festival, it was Coast Fest, and I heard it went off without a hitch. You know, it was just kind of nice, like when all the concerts in the whole country were shut down, yeah. it was really, really good to be able to do something and socially distance and be able to actually give some people some joy. We're into the fall, you know, summer's over, the summer people are gone, you know, but that's not really even what you guys do. You guys are locals to the core. What do we have planned right now? Right now, so this will be out by the time this airs, but we got yeah. a brand new music video, Troublemaker. Dropping tomorrow. I'm um, really excited about that. 
And then we have a brand new single, See You Again, that'll be out nice. um, very soon. We're really excited about that. The new single, it was really fun to make, you know, it was kind of one of those things where we wanted to bring high energy, big impact, like rock and roll right to your face. Yeah. I want to see you again. Your music, every song that I've ever heard you guys play, honestly, is radio ready. As far as Cape Vibes and Dirty Water Cape Downs, we're, we're so, so excited for what you guys have going on and what you've been doing all these years, man. And we just appreciate you and we love you. Aww. Thanks for having us be a part of it. We love you too, man. Oh, Thanks for coming on tonight, guys. Can we do this? Can we do this? Uh, 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 we do, we do, we do. I need to cut this out. <laughs> So, do you guys like fishing? I know a few of you like yeah, fishing. Say, yeah, come on. Okay, we got a couple in the... Well, well an I got some good news for you guys. Yeah. Just because fall is here, fishing is not over. And Get Bent TV, Tony and John are catching bluefish off of our favorite place in Dennis. We are here on Cape Cod to do some last minute fishing before the season wraps up. We're not just fishing. We're going to have the Harbor Cafe chef up anything that we catch. You know, because I'm always hungry. It turns out we had an open seat on the boat, and we love fishing with our homies, so we asked our friend Big J to tag along. Hey, everybody, my name is Jim Sullivan, also known as Big J. I started the brand Filthy Anglers in 2015, and we are a apparel fishing brand. I've known Tony and John for about three years now, and they actually gave me the name Big J. So every time we go out with them, um, we have a blast. So when they reached out to me, I'm like, hey, Jim, you want to go fishing? I was like, heck yeah. So I am an avid angler. Um, I love fishing. I love being on the water. I love catching fish. But fun fact, I don't eat fish. I don't eat seafood, although I can crush a lot of crab rangoons. I don't do anything else. So today, I'm going to be eating fish for the first time, and I will let you know how it goes. Between Jay not eating fish and John getting sick even on the ride down here, Captain Jeff has got his work cut out for him on this trip. I'm Jeff Perry. I'm captain of the First Light out of East Dennis, Mass, the Seward Harbor. Well, today we're going to be targeting striped bass and bluefish, primarily by trolling. Fishing's been really good the last week or two, and uh, I think we'll, we'll have good success. So what we're going to start out with trolling now is hoochies, so that they kind of imitate a squid. I like to use the orange and the, the brightly colored ones on a day like today. It's kind of kind of a little bit overcast, a little cloudy, kind of a little, little more enticing, I think, for the fish. Uh, we're going to set out four of them. We're going to set out two what we call flat lines, which are going to be going straight off the boat, and they're on wire lines, so those will go down a little bit deeper. We're going to be fishing outriggers, which are going to be wooden lures that are going to be on the top of the water column. They'll hit really, really hard and fast a lot of times, and they'll just, they hit with a lot of aggression trying to stop it. Oh, we're on. Oh, Jim, that's you, bro. Doubled up, we're doubled. Fish out. Up next. It's fish fry time as the boys from Get Bent TV prep and devour their catch of the day, along with some ice cold shipyard pumpkin head beer. That's when Dirty Water TV from the Lobster Trap in Bourne returns. Welcome back, I'm Cassie Arsenal. And I'm Pat Bonzani. And John and Tony have caught their prize. Now they're gonna prepare and devour that sucker, but they're also drinking with it. Some shipyard pumpkin head beer. Let's take a look. And we are crushing it. All right. First light sport fishing, blue fishing. We ain't going hungry today. Catch the cook, we need to catch something, we need to bring it in, we're gonna have it Filleted and cooked up ourselves. Great. Oh, 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 take, take it. Not gonna lie, a small part of me was hoping we weren't gonna catch a fish because you can't cook what you don't catch. But once we started hammering the blues, 
throwing down some ice cold shipyards. Uh, things were good. Last strike, Tony. Yes, 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 my moment. You gotta work on your four, four yeah, I gotta game. work on my four I came from. Whoa, he's swinging me. Look how look how far this line goes out, guys. What are you feeling right now, John? Winded. I'm feeling winded. Oh, that's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That's clean. That's clean. Double. You got doubles? Double burger. Break. High five, you two. High five. Got it done early today. Back to the harbor before lunch. We can't wait to see what the Harbor Cafe chef's up for us. Uh, we're gonna fry the tail pieces and then we're gonna grill these thicker pieces. Fired up right now. Two options, the so at Harbor Cafe. We got the fried and then we got the pan seared with the Italian dressing. Our only hope is that Big J saves some space all right, in the old stomach for the fish. Because he got into the pumpkin heads a little early today. This is Tony Romeo reporting live from the Sasuet Harbor Cafe. We've just completed our day out in the water, and Jim is going to try his two versions of prepared bluefish. Clean the palate with the shipyard pumpkin. All right, we're going to start with the fried first, all right? Looks good. All right, here we go. Okay. That's pan seared. You're number one. Pan seared. You phenomenal. Actually, that is more of your uh, your chicken of the sea. I feel like. How many fish sticks do you give it? One, one to ten. How many fish sticks? If I want nine with the fried, I gotta go. 9.864. All right. I think Jim's a little, he's drinking a little too many shipyards here. Bro, unbelievable day in general. All right, we got Big J to eat his first piece of fish ever. You didn't even get seasick. Which is like unheard of. All right. Huge shout out to Jeff and Jason from First Light Sport Fishing for putting us on them. And getting us back in time for lunch. Got to give it up to the Harbor Cafe for preparing us the best bluefish I've ever had in my life. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Hey, everybody at home. Thanks a lot for watching our segments. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, we're Get Bent TV. What's better than catching a big blue in the middle of October on Cape Cod? Nothing. Nothing Nothing's right? better. But we have another special guest. Yes, we do. Tell us about it. So we've got Kevin Pacheco from the Family Driving. He's been doing some comedy, some movies, and some live music Ooh. this summer, 2020. Renaissance with COVID man. all happening. Kev, tell us a little about... Uh, you know, how you came up with this, and, and uh, yeah, let's start with there. All right, well, uh, my name's Kevin, and I own a, a Vivid Event Productions, and uh, we had a, uh, a dead season due to COVID, so we decided to open up a venue for the community during a pandemic. And, hey, the community, I think, has been pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good to you, right? Absolutely. Everybody loves coming on out. Uh, we have a really safe environment for everybody, family-friendly entertainment. It's all affordable, um, national acts, comedy, different movies. Um, we have the whole shebang. Who, who'd you have this summer that uh, you know that, that really brought brought the doors down for you? Yep. Well, we have uh, we had N Train. We have G Love. Right. Yep. We have uh, Crooked Coast, who I think you had uh, tonight. Yes, on, we love Crooked Coast. Coast. Yeah, Crooked Coast Big is crushing it. Here. Crushing <laughs> it. Uh, we have some comedy from Dave Russo. Yeah, we had all kinds of uh, different movies. Kev, we thank you so much, and uh, we look forward to seeing what you have next summer because we know this probably isn't going to end, and you're going to be doing driving again next summer. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. We're, uh, we're going fully uh, nonstop starting, uh, I think, we're uh, St. Paddy's Day right through Halloween. Fantastic, man. We look forward to it, and thanks so much for your time. Thank you very much. FoundmouthDriving.com. Check it out. This is Dave from the Lobster Trap, and I love Dirty Water TV. Welcome back. I'm Cassie Arsenal. I'm Pat Bonzani. And we are still at the Lobster Trap, just shutting the place down. We have a very special interview right now. Stephanie Harris joins us, and she is the creative director of Cape Vibes. Pat, take it away. Steph, now listen. You created a logo that made Cape Vibes go. 
What does Cape Vibes mean to you, girl? For me, Cape Vibes is really like a daily dose of Cape Cod positivity. Um, I think Pat came to me with this idea and it really meant, you know, Cape Cod community positivity. And I think I embodied that in the logo and I'm excited to see where this takes us. Steph, I couldn't agree with you more. You cross that bridge, the Bourne Bridge, the Sagamore Bridge, whichever one you take, and you get a smile on your face, right? And here we are, a couple months later, Cape vibing. Thank you so much. So wait, what you might not know is in her title of creative director, she actually designed the graphic for Cape Vibes. Yes, she Tell did. Us how did you come up with the inspiration? I love the wave. I love the colors. I know a lot goes into that. Pat and I, one day after work, we both work here at the Lobster Trap. You know, we vibe together on the Cape all day long. Yes, we but, do. But uh, <laughs> he came to me with an idea um, about, you know, just positivity, brightness. Um, that's where I got those bright colors. Um, the wave, symbolic of, you know, the ocean. Absolutely. Um, CV, I think, is just small, simple. I think the logo is Pat. You know, yeah. Pat as a logo. Pat, he chose Pat. Well, <laughs> it's, it's plump, round, and red, so yes. Not true, but yes, like bright and cheery and just bringing this positivity, which Pat mentioned we all need right now. That's it, man. Oh. Hey, God, what's better than crossing that bridge and letting all your fears go away and letting everything go away, all the stress, no stress down here at Cape Cod, everyday sunshine. Vibes. What a what great way for? to close out the show. And I know you two know about this this catchphrase that we have. You know about it. The weekend may be over. But the party, party never, never ends, ends on Dirty, Dirty Water, Water TV. TV. We have a southwest wind coming in. So what that's going to do is the plankton is going to build up. It's going to push the fish into the inner circle. I'm going to do the interview around here first, okay? We're checking the coordinates on the bumble machine. They're here. The bite's going to be on soon. Zoe and Julia, you're dead to me.